so I said earlier, we in 15, the past 15 years, we've built five prisons, we've expanded four. Uh, so we've got over a billion dollars of debt that are paying off. So $30 million, this budget finding, just to pay off the debt on past prison expansion. By the way, so this dotted line that goes down and down and down in this time period, that's the amount of money that we're spending on the kinds of programs in, inside prison that help people make it up when they get out, that help reduce recidivism, right? Things like addiction treatment, things like adult basic education, things like uh, re-entry support programs, helping people develop plans before they get out. So essentially, as we're actually building more and more prisons and filling them at a, at a serious cost, we're actually cutting the cuts of programs that help people make it. So in, so in some ways, people can think of it as, it's like our, our prisons are becoming more and more like warehouses. And it's almost like this, we're creating this self-fulfilling prophecy, this cycle that we can't get out of. Because it's like, what, what are people going to do when they get out if we're actually not investing? And by the way, tuition costs. And so the research shows the uh, future correction costs that state and local governments save, as well as um, the benefits to, um, in terms of reduced costs of future climate bills. Every dollar we're investing in the 40, and we thought that this was important because it actually prevented youth who had been convicted as adults from any, any of getting transferred to adult prison. We kept them within OIA, which is, you know, definitely better than no prison. And then also uh, to really change some stuff up, and uh, let's discuss what happens. All right. So the reason why I think that we're in a moment in time that we um, can really change some kind of things up is that the truth of the matter is um, legislators are, are beginning to get this, right? They're beginning to get the fact that um, prison build up isn't it isn't cost effective, and it's not even the most effective way to actually create public safety. There's a, and and they're beginning to get this also because hundreds of millions of dollars. You know, the, in the governor's uh, kind of budget revisions for this February session, he's looking to cut from higher education. Is it like three, three and a half million? I, I'm at that level. With you know, which um, could be a little bit more. But when you add it up, right, that's nowhere near the hundreds of millions of dollars that we could save. Again, when you talk to legislators and say, you know, we've got to stop cutting higher education. We've got to stop these tuition raises. You reform. In 2013, you need, there's going to be a package of reforms that are going to be offered to you from the, the Governor's Commission on Public Safety. And, um, and you know what? That can help stop the bleeding.